Oh, hello. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the channel. And we're continuing here in Lachan Island. And we're actually on the island because uh, we had to come via the causeway there to get to the island. And uh, I have three churches here for you today that I want you to look at. And I wouldn't have known about these churches only for my good friend, Ponderings of an Irish Presbyterian and his channel. So thank you, sir. Big thumbs up to you. And you've done a good job on these these churches. And as I say, I wouldn't have known, known about them only for you. But before I take you up and let you see these churches, I want to show you this billboard because there's a French connection. So there is this gentleman here, is Charles de Gaulle. And in France, they have an airport named after this man, the Charles de Gaulle Airport. And I'm going to read the wee inscription out for you here. It says, the French connection. The McCartan family was dispossessed during the political turmoil of the 17th century and the Williamite Wars, with many seeking their fortunes abroad. One such family member was Anthony McCartan, son of John McCartan and Bridget Ford, and Philem McCartan's great-grandson. Bridget Ford was a niece of Matthew Ford, who was also married to a McCartan Eleanor. Anthony was a teenager when he and his father John moved to France and joined the French army. The former president of France, General Charles de Gaulle, had family connections to the McCartans of Lachan Island. His great grandmother was Marie, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, McCartan, a great granddaughter of Anthony McCartan. And it says there, the former president of France, General Charles de Gaulle, had family connections to the McCartan family. That's amazing, isn't it? And this one here is actually a gravestone, but I've seen this. It's actually in the, in the wall of the, the North Church. It says the Latin inscription translate as Morris Byrne, I think that is, B-I-R-N, lies covered by this pile of stones, which whilst living, he erected at his own expense, 1617 AD. So I will be able to uh, show you that. So if you want to read the rest of that, you can uh, pause the channel, or pause the video, should I say. <laughs> so I think we'll start with the uh, General de Gaulle Church first. And uh, of course, it was the smallest of the three churches. And it was the McCartan's church, the door of which has the date 1636 and the initials PMC for Philem McCartan of the clan McCartan. So I'm going to show you this one first. Of course, the connection is with uh, General de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle. So we head up there. So there you can see PMC, which is a very plain for Phelan McCartan. And there you can see the date. Not just so plain, but you can certainly see the 16. And it's 1636. So the 17th century, folks. Amazing, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. So 
so the Lachlan, the Lachlan Island churches are a group of three ancient churches in a cemetery on the island in Lachlan Island Lake, which I'm about to show you. And it's reached, as I say, by the causeway. And of course, the oldest mention of any of these churches is 1306. And the middle church is probably from the 13th century. So it would be the oldest. So that's the Lachlan Island Lake just in front of you. Pretty amazing, isn't it? You could just look at this and say, well, what's pretty amazing about this church? It's just old stone, exactly. It's old stone from a monastery. 100% correct. Or at least from a church. You can see like a wee dragonfly there. If I can get her on camera. Oh, she's right over there now. A couple of them. I don't know if you can see them or not. But, uh, they're like long and blue. They're nice wee things. So there you are. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, probably the oldest church, this one. Well, it is the oldest church. Probably from the 1200s. And then the large North Church was built in the 15th century, but it was actually used up until 1720, which is incredible. And that's it there. That's where we're heading now. Certainly well worth a visit these churches. Great day today. So this is the biggest church, the North Church. And this is where the oldest gravestone is. And it's actually embedded now in part of the wall. And here's it here. From 1617. Isn't that amazing? Latin inscription. Fantastic. Nothing like a wee bit of church history on a good day like this. Absolutely fantastic. You're getting out, getting a bit of sun 
around you, which gives you a wee bit of vitamin D. And you're getting the air in your lungs and you're enjoying a wee bit of church history. It's good to take time out and this is certainly a good way to do that. I think I might be another wee head up there. Possibly. So there you go, folks. So thanks for watching, and God bless.